Hi folks, happy Thanksgiving, Lord bless all of you. This is uh this is kind of before the fact before we fry our turkey here. I had several folks who wanted me to video on uh when we fried our turkey this year. But uh here he is, he's only thirteen a little over thirteen pounds, but that's that's about what us family of four we handle without having a whole lot left over. And uh, we just, uh, we uh, inject ours with uh, garlic butter is what it's injected with, garlic and butter. And the wife, Joanne, has rubbed it down with lemon pepper and uh, season of salt. And we've left him out here. He'll be about an hour before we drop him in the grease. You want the skin and all that to really dry out all the moisture to get out of him good for you to drop him in the hot oil. So uh, shortly we'll be heading outside to, uh, to drop him in the grease. And whenever we do, we'll get back with you guys. See you in a few. Uh -huh. Hey folks, we're getting real close. With, uh, we're about 320, well, about 315, 320 degrees right now. When it gets to about 350, we're going we're gonna to drop Mr. Bird in there. We try to be tactful, and I, I set the cooker up as far away from the turkey pen as I can to, uh, to try to keep the traumatic factor down with the birds out there on the yard. But uh, whenever she hits about 350, we're going to go ahead and drop him in. We'll be back in just a few. All right, guys, gauge has hit 350, so it's time to... Uh, Drop the bird in the grease. Eye protection, gloves. Very carefully and methodically. Figured I can get around his gauge. There we go. And we're going to ease him down in here. Get over here a little closer, honey. We can see a little bit better. It's at 350, and until he starts contacting the grease, you can hear him. A little bit of moisture in there, so you want to do this real slow. Took off some of that moisture. You see the steam start coming out of the body cavity. Very slowly. Very slowly. Boy, that's already smelling good. Almost there. Now your temp's gonna drop. Usually drops about 20 or 30 degrees once you drop that bird in here, but this bird's at room temperature. We've had him out for a good while. And we've let him dry out for a little over an hour. You let that skin, everything on the outside dry off real good. And he's in. It was painless and it dropped, see, uh, you see Gage, it dropped about 325. And we we'll want to keep him right there between 325 and 354. That's a 13 pound bird, three minutes per pound. That comes to 39 minutes. So somewhere between 39 and 40 minutes, he'll be ready to come out. We'll be back and see it in, folks. Quick update. I just wish this was smell-o-vision. I wish you folks could smell that thing cooking. We're hovering right around. It, it finally dropped down. I don't know if you can see that good or not. Sometimes this camera don't want to focus in real good. But it's dropped down to right at 300, which is still okay. I stepped up the fire. But on most of these uh, cookers, you've got your, here's your adjusting valve for the intensity of your flame. And we just increased that a little bit to try to get it back up to around th between 325 and 350. And once this bird really gets up to temperature, then you'll have to adjust uh, your fire accordingly to uh, keep it from getting too hot. So, uh, about a third of the way in update. We'll see you again in a few. All right. Here we go. Just, yeah. Unveiling begins. Oh, oh man, that's perfect. That's beautiful. That's perfect. Here, let me move this out of the way. Put the thermometer right in the way. Put the thermometer right in the way. Here we go. All right, bud. That smells wonderful. Yep, we're gonna let it drain <laughs> for a little while now. 